Hey, this is Adam. Today we're going to be taking a look at a 2018 Chevrolet Tahoe RST Performance Edition. This one's going to stand out just a little bit from most normal Tahoes, at least in my mind it does. You're going to notice that on this particular one it is black, and it's all black. The grill is black, the bow ties are black, it does have the front parking sensors, um, so which comes on most of them. One thing I thought was kind of cool that I literally just noticed was the uh, Chevrolet bow tie and the headlight is blacked out as well. I've seen them in plenty of headlights before, but I've never seen it black before. I think that's pretty nifty. Also, part of the, the special edition is the 22-inch wheels with the black glossing inside and some machine facing here. We'll come up here and notice that the Tahoe, instead of it being in chrome, is in black. Part of the Blackout Edition. The mirror caps are black. It still has keyless proximity entry. The running boards are slightly different. It's got black on the running boards here, and of course the matte black finish there. We're gonna come around to the back. I'll show you the differences um, on the trunk. On this Tahoe, of course, it's got the cover for the trailer hitch. It's black, matches the um, the car itself. I want to say this padding's a little bit different because it looks different. Maybe it's because the colors are um, more exaggerated, but I think it's different as well. The Premier badge, and of course, is under trunk like all of them. You're gonna have the black bow ties here. And of course the Tahoe emblem on the rear as black as well as it on the front quarter. I'm gonna pop the trunk and we're gonna take a look on the inside. This is gonna look similar to most other Tahoes I've demonstrated here on YouTube, but you're gonna see that it does have a little latch here. You can store some things underneath. I think the biggest commodity they've done to the Tahoes is they've made uh, a power folding rear seat. Hit one button, lays the seat completely flat. I hit another button, comes all the way up. While I let this seat get all the way back in position, we're going to transition to the second row and show you what it looks like on the inside. I think a lot of times I neglect to mention bucket seats is pretty much standard on all premieres. Actually, it is standard on all premieres, and you do have the capability to get a bench seat in most Tahoes. I always neglect to mention that. It's got super nice leather seats here. It's got the perforations in the back, plenty of space for the third rows in case you're carrying a lot of folks with you. Speaking of carrying folks with you, they do have the ability to watch some Blu-ray DVDs up here. Um, and it ties in with this console right in the middle here. Of course, I've got a power outlet, a 12-volt outlet. I've got heated seats. Heck, I've got pretty much every adapter known to man back here. USBs, HDMIs, um, iPod jacks. People are going to be riding in style definitely in the back back here. On the inside here, at the driver's seat, you're going to notice about the same thing you've seen before. A leather wrapped steering wheel, all your um, radio controls and driver information controls are to my right. To my left is the cruise control along with the heated steering wheel and the forward collision alert. I'm not going to see a picture of it, but hopefully you will in a little bit. There is a trailer and brake controller to my left here in case you do a lot of towing. If I come to my right here, you're going to see that it has the traditional MyLink system here. Everybody's used to seeing that. I've done um, reviews on it before. It does have navigation as well. There is a button that's lo located right here. If I hit it, you're going to raise up this console, and then you'll reveal that back here there's a compartment with another USB port that you can kind of hide away your cell phone in case you want to leave it in the car, um, give you a nice quiet dinner alone. Um, but you got all your audio controls. It's got, I mean, all the um, air controls. I said that wrong. All the air controls are here. The heated, heated seats, cooled seats, it's got plenty of spaces to put your cups, um, USB port, 12 volt adapters, it, that's, that's just a neat little place to hide it away. One of the neatest things is it does have the wireless charger if you have a wireless charging phone. Some Apple phones, let me know, may not charge. If you'll come up here to the top, you'll see that it's got um, a trunk latch right here that open up, home link system, the convenient place to put your sunglasses at it. And you're going to see that this one does have the sunroof. And last but not least, this is what makes the RST Performance Edition special. 6.2 liter, 10-speed transmission. You can find this engine in our biggest vehicles such as the Escalade and even, uh, I'm going to call it the baby cousin because I'm not a GMC guy. I'm a Chevrolet guy. The GMC Denali has this engine in it as well. Awesome engine. Guys, make sure you find us on all our social media outlets, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and remember to ask for Adam.